Many other kids across Northeast Ohio went back to class today, including those in the Cleveland City Schools. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin was there for their first day. Michael joins us live right now with how it all went. Michael, what kind of grade can we give the school system today? Well, Leon, I asked our CEO Eric Gordon that exact question, and he said, quote, we had a good start, and we'd probably get a good grade. I, from talking to some of the students, some of the parents, they seem to agree. The rush was on. Very exciting for the kids this morning. Didn't even have to wake them up. Over 40,000 kids in the Cleveland School District kick-started their year and feeling very optimistic. Hopefully I get to meet new people, see old friends. We have a new principal. It's going to be better this year. Even though some serious problems right, so it's your birthday. could loom if a new levy isn't passed for the next school year, says CEO Eric Gordon. Well, we know what happens if it fails. We keep doing what we've been doing. We cut more programs. We uh, cut more services. A levy is on the ballot this November and could bring in millions to help the financially strapped Cleveland School District. But many parents didn't want to focus on that. Today was about their kids and how some found it hard to say goodbye to parents while others couldn't wait. It's so fun. And I like learning. What didn't sit well was the time changes. Some schools started pretty early. I really don't like that. Others didn't mind. What time does school start? Well, it used to start at 8 o'clock. So how come you're here so early? I didn't get the memo. There were some people that were upset because the school day got cut by about 50 minutes this year. They're taken away from the kids. The kids are our future. Awesome. <laughs> Gordon said it was necessary. Well, we did have to make some difficult decisions, including shortening our K-8 student day, and that's exactly the point. We cannot keep disinvesting in the system and cutting our way to prosperity. I asked Gordon what was the best thing about today, and he said it was seeing the kids' smiles. As far as the levy is concerned, he said that employees are not allowed to advocate during work hours for or against the levy. He uh, says that they will provide literature for parents that do want to know about it, but after hours, he said, for employees, it's game on. We're live in Cleveland. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.